Hey everybody, my name is Patrick Adjano. This is the first installment of the Kitchen Drinks uh, here on the Horizon Beverage YouTube page. We just want to send out quick tips, tricks, hacks for getting the most out of what you have already in your house uh, during these self-isolation times. This one is a favorite of mine, super, super simple infusion. We're going to make cold brew coffee whiskey. Cane sugar, coffee beans, sealable jar, jigger, plastic bag, Illy coffee, Wild Turkey 101 coffee strainer. So the first thing you want to do is start out with good coffee beans. We're going to use these here from Illy, a nice, big, dark, bold roast. You don't want any blonde roasts, any breakfast blends, anything like that. You want something that's going to impart a little bit more flavor. What you want to do for this recipe is going to be about a 12 ounce pour of whiskey that we're going to infuse. So we're going to do a third of a cup. If you don't have a measuring cup, uh, whole beans only, you're looking at about 50 beans. If you want to eyeball that, you're going to take that one third of coffee beans and you're gonna put it into a plastic bag. Once you have your coffee beans in your plastic bag, you just wanna break them apart a little bit to help them infuse a little bit faster. A uh, mallet, a muddler, a juicer, anything that's a little bit heavy, if you wanna just hit that a few times. If you don't have any of those things, just take your fist, make a fist and on a hard, smooth surface, hit it a few times just to break it up. So then you're gonna put your coffee beans directly into a sealable jar. I'm gonna use a ball jar just because it's really easy when you put the whiskey in, there's ounces on the side. If you have a water bottle, anything like that, anything that can be sealed really tight. So put the beans directly into here, and then we're gonna add a little bit of sugar for sweetener. We're gonna use cane sugar or sugar in the raw. Uh, this is the little brown packets you see if you ever go to a coffee shop. If you don't have cane sugar, you can use brown sugar. Uh, this is just gonna be a really rich sugar, so a little bit goes a long way. So take your cane or brown sugar, using your cocktail jigger and just put a half an ounce. Add that into your jar as well. And then finally, the most important part, the whiskey. We're gonna use Wild Turkey 101 bourbon. The key here is you want a bourbon over a rye because the cereal notes and the soft notes of a bourbon go really well with coffee. With a rye and the coffee, it sometimes gets a little bit too bitter but you want your bourbon to be overproof. So 101 is perfect. The more overproof it is, the higher ABV, the more extraction power and the quicker the infusion time. So you're gonna take 12 ounces or about a half a bottle of this and add it into your sealable jar. And that's really it. This is a super easy recipe, like I said. You're gonna take this, you're gonna give it one really good shake. And then you wanna store this in a cool uh, room temperature dark place. So if you have a basement, throw it down there. If you live in an apartment, put it in a paper shopping bag and throw it in a closet or a cupboard and you're gonna wait two weeks. At the end of two weeks, give the old taste test. Usually two weeks is a sweet spot. If you want more intense coffee, you can leave it for a third week, three weeks altogether. It's really as much as I would say uh, time-wise you can go. Anything past that gets too soupy, too mucky, doesn't taste good. So two to three weeks, you take this out, you put it through a coffee filter, just like regular coffee. Once all the whiskey is down and out of the filter, take a spoon on the backside of that spoon and mash down all of those beans to get the most whiskey out and you're ready to go. Things that this is great in, obviously neat on the rocks, the big orange peel. I like this in a Boulevardier, so equal parts of your Wild Turkey 101 cold brew coffee blend, Carpano Antica Sweet Vermouth and Campari. Now, the other thing you'll see is in the comment section or the description of this, you're gonna see a couple links if you wanna to donate to the industry, uh, both locally and nationally. We have CORE, which is doing amazing things for the families of industry workers that are out of work during these trying times. We have another round, another rally, as well as USBG on a national and local level who are doing great things for our friends in the hospitality industry. That's it. I hope you enjoyed. We'll be back doing this every Monday and Wednesday, releasing these videos at 11 a.m. If you have any questions, comments, please feel free to let me know and then leave in the comments any inventory you have for our Friday happy hours. And as always, cheers. Don't touch me.